Hi everybody, yes, another handheld PC video, but this time we haven't got the Steam Deck. This is the Asus ROG Ally uh, Z1 non-extreme version. So the very kind people at Asus um, sent me uh, this to, to have a look at. Um, and I've got to admit, when I first got it, I thought, oh, excellent, a ROG Ally. I can have a play around with this and test it and compare it with my, you know, with my Steam Deck. Um, and then I noticed it was the non-extreme version. I was a little bit, oh... Hmm. Because this unit, actually, I don't think you can actually buy them in the UK anymore. They're still available in America. And from somewhere like Best Buy, there, it's about $400, which is about $330 to £350 in the UK. Um, and I guess, you know, I guess if it was still, still on sale in the UK, if you could buy this for £350, you know, when you compare that kind of with the price of a um, Steam Deck, uh, OLED like this which is 480 that's a pretty big price difference however when the non-extreme version of the Ally came out it didn't exactly get a warm reception but I have spent the last several days getting to know the machine and playing around with the settings to get the best out of it so far anyway and I just want to share with you something so what we're going to do is we are going to jump into um cyberpunk and i'm just gonna we're gonna go for a motorbike ride and we're probably going to go to lizzie's bar and i just want you to kind of look at the footage and just think about what it looks like and, and how good it looks and remember i chose cyberpunk 2077 because it is one of the hardest games for um any of these handheld gaming PCs to run um, and computers, you know, I mean, we all remember the fiasco when it came out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Um, and, you know, they basically had to withdraw it from PlayStation for a while um, and, you know, they stopped updating it. Um, but now it's, I mean, it's an absolutely fantastic game, um, but very, very challenging uh, for, for anything to run. So let's get on the motorbike. Let's see if I can make it to Lizzie's bar. Now you'll notice that I deliberately haven't put the, the um, frame per second counter on the screen because I tell you what, the screen on this little ally is it's almost something magical about it. And that's why I don't want you to concentrate on what the frames per second are, but just, ooh, just the look of the footage. I know it's difficult because I'm recording this on a mobile phone um, and then you're watching it... Um, on uh, on YouTube, but hopefully, what we'll come across is how lovely and bright this looks. Whoop! He says crashing because I'm a little bit rusty, um, and how smooth it is as well. So let's get out of here. Oh, great. <laughs> so we can't get into the bar. Brilliant. But we can still have a look around. In fact, I'll tell you what we could do. We can wait around, can't we? Uh... Ooh, there's a bit of a sandstorm coming in. Are you open then? Come on in. My, what a sweet little face you have.
Right, let's go outside where it's a little bit quieter. Oh, should I tell you, let's go upstairs first. Let's have a look around. I mean, look how amazing this looks. And we're back outside again. So, I, th I think this is this has blown my socks off. This um, Rog Ally um, Z1 non extreme version, it really has. And the the magic to this, and this applies to the Rog Ally Z1 extreme as well, is this screen. Because if we go into here, and I put on my um, FPS monitor, what you'll probably see. Okay, so we're getting about thirty frames per second at the moment. Let's go back into Liz Lizzie's bar so it goes down. To something right so in here, right okay so we're getting sort of 27 25 generally when you're out and about in the busy areas of um, night city you'll probably be getting like 24 frames a second which is pretty low and i know on my computer if i was getting 24 frames a second it would be very very noticeable and it would be a bit like oh god what you know what's happening you know this is this is this isn't really playable down at these low um, frame rates however what the rog ally has the rog ally z1 extreme and not extreme is it has a variable refresh rate monitor and this matches the output of the game um as it's rendering uh, inside the the the, the rog ally to the the refresh rate of the screen which means in practical terms that it makes things look incredibly smooth even at very low frame rates. Now you probably notice that I've been wandering as I've been wandering around Night City and driving around, I've been de deliberately moving in the camera fairly slowly. And of course, um, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven has pretty heavy uh, motion blur as well to help with um, uh, the, the 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 jaggedness and the sort of jerkiness you get at low frame rates. But this little screen does magic. For example, if I'm playing say um, Fallout four. On the rug ally as uh, one non-extreme non and it's it, it chunking along at um, 60 frames a second it looks way smoother on this screen than it does on my Steam Deck OLED still running at 60 frames a second for example um, it just seems yeah, it's 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 almost like magic and it really makes me hungry really to have a go with the extreme version of the rug ally just because that must be pretty amazing um, as well, because I know lots of people when when the um, Steam Deck OLED came out, it was kind of um, well, you know, that's game over for mobile handhelds. Um, you know, you know, they've 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 got really long battery life out of this thing. They've got really good um, performance, um, and you you know, this this is the one to buy. But the problem with the Steam Deck is that is is strengthens the fact that it runs off Steam OS, which is Linux, which means that there's plenty of games that won't run on it because um, normally because of anti-cheat and also you can't run Xbox Game Pass. Whereas with the ROG Ally Z1 non-extreme version, um, this is a Windows 11 PC with all the advantages and disadvantages that that gives you, which basically means you can install and run basically any other any PC game on it. And you'll see here, let's just switch over to desktop mode. You can see I've, I've put some launchers on here, so Amazon Launcher, Battle.net for Call of Duty, Epic Games for Dead Island 2, Grog Galaxy for Cyberpunk, we've got Xbox Game Pass with Starfield, and we've got Steam, Helldivers, PUBG Battlegrounds, Daisy, Fallout 4, Armour of Forge, etc. So it can run all these things. Um, and I've been very, very impressed with it. Now, obviously, does it perform as well as the Steam Deck? No, because one of the, the cheats that I've done in order to get this better performance out of the ROG Ally and non Z1 non extreme version is it's running at 720p. It's not running at 1080p, so it's running actually at a lower resolution um, than the Steam Deck. So the Steam Deck run, runs at um, 
is it it's i'm trying to think what it runs at now it's 1200 by um is it 1280 by 800 uh, so that's running at 800p where this is running at 720p where the screen actually native is 1080p um also i've turned it down to 60 frames a second so i think it goes up to 120 big and i've taken it down to 60 so the games aren't trying to run at you know higher frame rates to get a maximum performance we can i've also gone through and i've done plenty of optimization as well so doing all the updates removing all the junk from windows because you get everything on this that you would get from the, from the new windows <laughs> windows pc so i've uninstalled a lot of the programs that i don't need and i yeah i'm very very impressed I'm, and a lot of it is down well most of it is down to this amazing screen which is an lcd screen it's not a low load screen and also honorable mention must go to the sound as well the speakers are fantastic it almost has 3d sound um better than the, the steam deck sounds it sounds like the, some of the sounds are coming from outside of the actual device itself so this has been a little bit of an introduction to the rog ally z1 non-extreme version um it'll be interesting to see what rog do well asus do with the rog brand this year in terms of the handhelds um, because there has been hints and tips that there is a rog ally 2 coming out in 2024 but what i'm going to try and do is hang on to this for as long as i can for as long as the kind people at asus will allow me to so i can dive into it and do tutorials about getting the best out of this version but obviously if you're getting the best out of this version you're going to be getting the best out of the, the rog ally z1 extreme but also things like um, how games run how they look and doing some funky windows stuff like running games with mods that you know it's pretty tricky to do on the steam deck and we're going to be looking at xbox game pass xbox game pass game streaming and all that sort of stuff but i've got to say this little um handheld um, i mean when you look at the prices so if so the the steam deck oled is 480 for the 512 512 gigabyte, gigabyte version if they sold this for 330 pounds in the uk so let's say it was the same price as a steam deck lcd 256 gigabyte and this has got 512 gigabytes of ram in it you know that that would be very interesting because the the full fat version of this in the uk anyway at the moment is 600 pounds and quite often it goes on sale for 100 pounds off so it's more expensive than a uh, than a than a steam deck oled but it would definitely make an interesting proposition. And one of the things that I thought maybe you know they should have done, which would have been really interesting, was if they had produced the uh, non-extreme version of the ROG Ally, but just put the 720p screen on it to reduce the cost even further, maybe even release it with a 256 gigabyte internal memory, and then you'd have to use the uh, SD card, um, then, um, you know, it could be even more popular than it is. So there we go. I just wanted to introduce you to this little machine that hopefully I'm going to be doing plenty of videos about and how the fact that the variable re variable refresh screen that it has um, really is uh, really is uh, something, uh, something magical indeed. Anyway, that's enough for me. What do you think? Put your questions and comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.